It's the morning of March 6, 2022, as I arrive at Jones Mill Road off of Norfolk Southern's Greenville District with train 212, easing towards the Norcross signal to meet southbound Amtrak Crescent train 19. Amtrak had one of their new 50th anniversary heritage units leading the train today, which is what dragged me all the way up here. But I get caught off guard as I'm setting up my camera with 212 being short. Then Amtrak coming around the corner behind them down main track one. Since I missed my chance in getting a still shot, my friend Terrence Ellison and I chased Amtrak to Peachtree Station, where we would wait for them to depart for Anniston, Alabama. I got my gear set up this time as they depart right on time, approaching us at McCaslin Street. In Kennesaw, Georgia, on the afternoon of March 10th, I await for CSX train K443. By the time I arrived, they were already sitting in Kennesaw waiting on northbound traffic with a southbound train ahead of them at CP Day. At 14.30, here came train Q582 with an ST70AH motor third out.
it look good there, big money. And Ricky. I appreciate it. Have a good one. At 1437, AC dispatcher advises the K443 to come around to Kennesaw. <laughs> Canadian Pacific SD70 ACU EMD motor was looking mighty sharp. I chased them down to Marietta, running into my friend John Chapman as they run down the number one main through the square. The weekend of March 12th was the big North Georgia National Model Train Show. They were at a different location this year at the Clarence Brown Conference Center in Cartersville. It's a little bit smaller compared to the Cobb Galleria, but they still had plenty to see. I'm not much of a modeler, but I always enjoy seeing the layouts being displayed each year. This year didn't disappoint.
After the train show, myself, Terrence, and Mark Landers gathered at the Etowah River Bridge on the CSX WNA for northbound train Q582, the only mainline train running out there before it started getting dark. The next afternoon, I skipped the second day of the train show and made it up to the CSX Cartersville subdivision side for train K641, ethanol loads for lads, just before Plant Bowen. They had a pair of Union Pacific motors for power.
On the morning of March 26th, I run into NS Train 154 on the east end just outside of Villareca, going by the Tyson Road road crossing. On March 30th, I made a special trip down into some territory I haven't touched in a long while, on CSX's a &WP subdivision. Train I-029 is muscling into Moreland, Georgia, heading for Fairburn Intermodal.
The main reason for this trip was to catch CSX's office car special, making another tour across the system. This trip is coming from as far south as New Orleans to as far north as Wilmington, North Carolina, then back south to Jacksonville. They're seen here passing Grantville, Georgia. Note they had a ditch light out on the lead motor. I followed them north up to Palmetto to catch them again before reaching Atlanta and going up the Georgia road towards Augusta. would do it for my train captures in March of 2022. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and enable that notification bell. See y'all next time from Palmetto, Georgia at milepost XXB24 along CSX's a and subdivision.